Hello, it is the last Wednesday of the month of February, and oh my goodness, the trucks were amazing today. Let me show you what we got. Produce. And we have set aside, we've set aside produce for some of the ladies in our church. We're still waiting on hearing what our fourth lady um, would like. And we still have two unopened boxes and all of this. So we have cabbage and onions and apples and carrots and so much broccoli so far nobody has asked nope one person has asked for broccoli so much broccoli uh bananas bananas and more bananas each of these boxes we got two and the couple that gets theirs got um i think four one yeah no what when we only have five boxes oh no we have an empty box yeah so each person got two boxes, and then the two families that give us their boxes um, gave us gave us theirs. They just, <laughs> they were like, oh, it's just vegetables this week, so you can have it. <laughs> Which is great, because I'm able to, this looks like we need to put that aside, and I will dig through that. It is, but I would prefer not to give that to anybody in the church. Um... Anyway, so we are going to be very busy this afternoon. Uh, we are going to do kind of some meal prep with me, some other kinds of, you know, what we're going to do with this to utilize it best for our family. But first, I need to take this son, this one right here, to urgent care. We have son number two in the house with a uh, possible fracture. That's how my month is going. Oh, someone also asked, do I pay for these medical emergencies? So for my last son, who they said it wasn't fractured, but the doc, the ER doctor, I thought I was going to urgent care, I was going to ER. Um, the doctor wasn't confident in that diagnosis, so he gave him a brace, a very nice brace. And um, whatever insurance doesn't cover, we cover, and the brace was not covered. So, um, I'm kind of prepared for that this time. Look up. So, once I get back from that, we are going to do some meal prep. Um, we have a lot of apples right now, even down here. The green ones are the ones that my kids love the most, and we got... Do you remember, was it, it wasn't Pink Lady. Was it Pink Lady? No, um, Honey Crisp. No, it was Pink Lady. It was Pink Lady. Pink we got Lady some, and grains. Yeah, I like those. Those are really good eating apples. Um, we have a bunch of like yellow apples. I think we got a couple weeks ago from um, the food trucks and they're very kind of soft and mushy. So they're really good applesauce um, apples. So we're gonna do some of that. We've got so many apples here. I think we're going to make some applesauce, we're going to make some banana bread, we're going to cut some bananas up, which I'm going to put you in charge of while I'm gone. You're going to slice bananas, put them on cookie sheet trays individually, pop them in the oven, have Hudson and John help you while you're gone. I have to go take Ben to yeah, I'll you what, uh, And on that note, we'll see what we get done today. And here I am just showing all of the cabbage my husband cut up to make this batch of sauerkraut. I put him in charge of that because he makes it so good. All right, so far I have a pound of the Impossible sausage in here, which is just like a um, vegetarian vegan sausage. It's made from soy. Anyway, not our favorite, we're learning, but it was affordable, it's cheap, and we are appreciative of these opportunities. I also have three, I also had three potatoes left from the potatoes we've had for a while now. They need to be used up, so I cut those up. There's a little bit left here, but I was making sure that somebody had some for some lunch, so we have the sausage on the bottom. We have some potatoes. I have some um, eggs from our local Amish lady, and I was thinking of even kind of dicing up a onion since we have plenty and um, kind of sauteing it a little bit and adding it to it to kind of make like a festive breakfast bake. And 
so that will be really good for tomorrow for breakfast since it is our piano day so something that's just already done and we can eat um, is fantastic so that's the first prep I've done for for today's prep meal prep speaking of my husband he this is one of those large um, glass jars from Walmart and I think he said there's five heads of cabbage in here and we still have at least three or four more um, so we made some more sauerkraut he's I put him in charge of that because he's really good about cutting it up fine and adding the right amount of salt and all that so he did that we still have some more um, cabbage here so I'm going to make some egg roll in a bowl for dinner and here's my breakfast and lunch <laughs> and yeah that's just where we're sitting at right now I'm just gonna pop that into the oven and I'll show you what the next project is that I'm gonna be doing so dinner is done we used up the last of the cabbage to make dinner and in here I also have some of the sausage from the Aldi haul and I finally pulled out this uh, what do they call this veggie chopper shredder something finally pulled it out and made took two small heads of cauliflower and it filled up this four four cup container of cauli rice and I popped it in the microwave for about four to six minutes and then I'm adding it to my egg roll in a bowl and so that's what's gonna be for dinner there's plenty here and it's just full of vegetables so that's fantastic it's also full of too much ginger my husband said so kind of needed a little little thing to buff it up a little bit you okay yeah and whew, I think next on this list you see he's heading that way I just walk around for a little bit oh yeah he's just like eh, eh. okay so I think the next thing on the list today is going to be to make some banana bread we have a ton of bananas here I'm gonna put another batch in the freezer but I was thinking of just making a batch of banana bread and a batch of banana muffins I think I'm gonna focus on that I wonder how you get all that stuff off to clean <laughs> and we'll see what we get done after that
I still have a lot of work ahead of me. I need to try to get these onions um, diced and put in the freezer. And then I think I'm gonna call it a night. Okay, um, so we have our breakfast tomorrow. Somebody's tested it. This is a cinnamon raisin bread that I tried. It's really good, but it got really dark. The mama who, um, little baby I, I watched, um, asked if I could come over and um, help her with the little one for a bit. So um, I kind of dashed out the door and forgot to tell the kids to turn the oven off, but oh well. It was, it was good. I had a slice of it, and this is like paleo and all the other free of kind of breads. I'll leave it linked down below because um, the website that was linked to it is no longer there. So I had to base it off of what she shared in the video. And so what's up with my muffins? I sent some home with that mama um, for her and her family. And then these are going to go home with our piano teacher tomorrow. We have two banana bread loaves here for another day. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much my day. Just cut the broccoli. I'm gonna cut some of the onions. You don't need to see me do that. Probably finish up kitchen here. Get to bed. Thanks for spending the afternoon with me, and I will catch you in my next video. See ya.